So it's Friday and it's our first official payday for our new acquired independent contracting business. So I've been talking to you for a couple months um, about, you know, getting started with your own business. And I've been getting questions from people who are interested in um, starting their own business with their box truck. So you can use, um, you know, a cargo van. Uh, we do deliveries for one contract in a cargo van. And then the second, we do uh, deliveries with a 26-foot truck. So we have gotten questions from people who um, are purchasing trucks and, you know, they want to know, you know, exactly how they should get started. So my advice is to start by establishing, first of all, your business entity if you have not done so so you want to establish yourself as a LLC and then from there you want to begin to um, you know establish the other things that you'll need to be successful in your business so you do need to get an employment identification number which is a EIN number um, and you get that from the IRS it's free um, you go online and you fill out the questionnaire and um, you will receive in the mail your official document stating um, your employment identification number. You also want to apply uh, with your Secretary of State to become a limited liability corporation. Um, that's what I advise um, because it protects your personal assets from your business. Okay, so if you're ever sued in your business, um, you know, you have your um, LLC. And so it protects your personal assets. Um, in some states, it requires that you have articles of incorporation. Depends on where you are. So that's why you want to check with your local, um, you know, state secretary of state and their website to see exactly what you need. Um, you will also need insurance. So you will need at least a million dollars um to uh for your general liability insurance for your business you will also need vehicle insurance for your uh vehicles that you will use um you will also need cargo insurance and you will need an umbrella so your umbrella protects you know uh where your liability ends in terms of your business uh say your vehicle's in an accident the umbrella uh, extends the amount of your liability insurance so that if you know the, the amount uh, is greater than say your policy then you are covered because then you have extended coverage through your umbrella plan so those are just um, you know your starting point it took me going through about 25 insurers to finally find a decent rate uh, insurance especially in Texas, can be very expensive um, because there are a lot of uh, accidents, uh, you know, here. And, and so it creates, you know, a situation where insurance can be very expensive. So you definitely want to do your due diligence and you want to find, you know, um, a quote that's suitable and that will not bankrupt you, <laughs> you know, when you're getting started. So um, everything, you know, should be cost effective. Fuel, of course, is a little higher than it has been. So you kind of want to um, put yourself in a position. I recommend getting a fleet card. Uh, and a fleet card will help you with fuel. Um, you will pay less at the pump with a fuel card uh, than, you know, most people when they go to the pump. So you want to do that. And that's for diesel gas, uh, which you'll be using in your truck. So those are a few of the items that I just wanted to bring to your attention today. I will do a more in-depth um, webinar uh, live on YouTube to go into a little more about my experiences and the things that I've learned since I've started this process that may help you in your journey of getting your contracts in your local, regional, or state. So I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. And this is Catherine Weathersby, and I wish you a blessed day.